Right, in terms of the business model, unless you're going to follow this, you're not going to make it. I can tell you this. I've studied this for 25 years, and uh, this is the quick summary, or the SMS. Who wants to learn it quickly? SMS. Everyone knows how to send an SMS? Well, then it's going to be very easy. The first part of this, the first S stands for strategy. The wealth creator strategy or a strategy. Unless you're going to have a strategy, it's not going to work. I'll come back to that just now. This part stands for the money-making process. And the sales course fit into the money-making process. Because in the money-making process, there are only three C's. It's you create it, a product or a service. You campaign it, which we are busy doing, the marketing as well as the sales. That's the campaigning. And then you cash it in. So unless this is effective, it's not going to work. And then the last is, is basically the system. Unless you've got a system, you're not going to duplicate it over and over and over each and every time. And you, it's not going to work. Okay. So, in short, that's the whole process. Now, if we go to the strategy, there are two kinds of strategies that you can follow. You can follow an opportunity-seeking strategy the chances are 100% that you're going to fail, yet everyone follows that strategy. Why? Because we're totally confoculated by the system. You all know what confoculation means? It simply means we do not know that we don't know what we're supposed to know. And the reason why we're ignorant is simply because unless we're ignorant, the system will not be able to function. But the moment that we understand the system, we can get into the system. We're not from the system. We can get into the system and use the system against itself to become rich. Unless you're going to have a pattern, unless you're going to have a formula, it's not going to happen. You have to have the system as well. So, in terms of this, if we look at the formula for riches, in essence, it's basically, this is a sign for intent. Equals focus, if we want to keep it very simple and very straightforward. So, your intent equals your focus. So, the formula works two ways. The first way is that way. And the second way is backwards. Let me show you quickly the sign of intent. I need to know who I am. I need to know where I am. I need to know where I'm going to. In terms of where I am, you can only be on one of seven levels in your business. A level one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with seven open-ended. And financially, guess what? You can only be on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with the open-ended. And the financial side is more important than the business side. as a sideline. Right. So in terms of where I am, you can be on one of seven levels in terms of your business. Now, in order to get from where you are to where you want to be, that difference, that is called a strategy. Does it make sense? So unless you've got the right strategy, you're not going to move up to the next level. And to move up in the level, you, you're going to literally find there are seven steps in each and every level. And that level is a formula for riches because there are seven steps in the formula. So if you look at the focus, the first thing that you're going to focus on is the tense, right? the time, the effort, the mindsets, and the money or the currency, not necessarily money. The second thing is the action that you're going to take. There are two types of action, opportunity-seeking action, or a wealth creator's action, with different results. Third one is the leverage. There I want to manage the risk down, and the growth up. The only way to do that is the fourth one, which is taking responsibility. The accountability, the results. We measure the results. If the results are not there, then I'm starting to move backwards in terms of the formula. Because somewhere there's a dysfunctional problem. Somewhere I'm not following the formula. Once you get the results that you want, then you move on to the next step, which is the accelerator. And those, these two are basically cumulative effects. So the moment that you do that, you're going to find that it becomes extremely easy to move through these different levels. But there's something else that is quite interesting, and that is that we want to take shortcuts. Now, the moment that you want to take shortcuts, you're going to find that I'm at a level, let's call it three, but I want to skip to a level six. 
The moment that you're going to do that, you're going to bump yourself against what we call a ceiling of complexity. And the ceiling of complexity will always press you down to the level that you belong. Now, let's get crazy. That level that you operate is a direct reflection of your skills level, your business skills level. Marius, not your, not your professional level, your business level. Because I can be a, a pharmacist and I can be a brilliant pharmacist, but I've got no business skills. Or I can be a medical doctor, a brilliant medical doctor with all the skills, but no business skills. And that's going to limit me in terms of where I am. But does it make sense? Okay. So, it's actually a very straightforward process. You can't skip it. And then in the Wealth Creators University, what we've got, we've got 31 steps to take you from a level 1 to a level 7. But you have to do that in a sequence. The moment that you try to, to force your way out of it, it's not going to work. And the reason why it's not going to work, there are fundamental flaws. Because you haven't done the basics. So from a competency level, if you're at that competency level, if I want to do my, get my degree, if I'm in my final year for whatever degree, BCom, then I haven't got a degree. So the level that you're at is the level that you need to learn to master. Make sense? The moment that you've mastered that level, automatically you move to the next level. No stress or very little stress. And therefore this definition simply says, it's the intelligent use of limited resources. Why limited resources? Will you agree that on a level 1 and 2 and 3, in terms of business as well as in terms of your finances, you've got limited resources. The limited resources, basically money, time, and energy. And of course, mindset. Does it make sense? So unless I can, can learn how to use what I've got to move to the next level, I'm not going to get to the next level. For the simple fact that I haven't mastered the competency and the skill level to get the right, in other words, to get the degree to move on to the honorary level, as an example. Okay, so understand this portion. The second portion is the money-making process, which is very simple. It's you must create a product or get someone that has created a product. The second thing is you must campaign it, which is sales and marketing, 100%. And then the third part is you must find a way to cash it in. Now, the ideal is to find a way to use a system where you can cash it in even if you're there or not there. Does that make sense? And nowadays the internet helps quite a lot. But if you run a proper business on a level five, you're going to find that the business do not need you. Who wants to hear something? No, Who wants to hear something? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Right. What did I want to ask you? <laughs> Okay, on a level one, two, three, you're an entrepreneur. That business depends 100% on you, the owner. Right? A level four is the transition. You're not a business, but you're not an entrepreneur anymore. From a level five, for the first time, you're going to have a business. Level five, six, and seven. The first time that you'll be financially free will be at a level seven. And at level six and seven, the business can become your investment. So it is possible to grow your business. Here's the bad luck. 96% of the people will not get past a level three. 96%. Less than 1% will get to a level seven. Right. And the reason for that is because we're ignorant. We do not know, first of all, where we are. And we follow the wrong strategy. It's that simple.